So filmmaking is fun because it's a little bit like building blocks. Even though the process sometimes takes a really long time to get all the money, to do all the pre-production, uh, every day you're shooting, you're getting between 3 and 5% of the film in the can. So, and every day you can watch the dailies, which are the, the films of what you shot that day. So there's a sense of accomplishment every day, which is kind of exciting in, in film. And then after three weeks, you have the entire film shot. So they always say there's the film you write, the film you shoot, and then the film you edit. So we have three weeks of, of film in the can, and then we will edit for three months. Nancy, take one, Mark. We are this group of players who are pros now, mostly teach. At one time, I think we were all really, really pretty good. Um, at this point, I think I'm probably the most serious and and the best Turner that is, me as Turner. Um, but I'm getting lazy, and I'm really giving up when Owen, our hero, comes in. He was the reason I picked up a tennis racket. And when I see Owen, I recognize a chance to be good again, and that turns me on. And uh, I, I talk to the guys, and I kind of convince them to follow him. And, and uh, we end up becoming winners. I think that's the big thing for Turner, is that he wants to win. This is our one chance to be good again. And I don't know about you, but I'm going to take it. My character is called, his name is uh, Roman, but everybody calls him Dead Arm, because he has a, uh, a dead arm. It's a little bit of a liability. He, uh, he came down with it a couple uh, months ago, and he's been coaching one-handed with his wrong arm for uh, several weeks now, and uh, his students are suffering a little bit because of it. <laughs> so I'm on the uh, the Good Guys, um, which is the uh, Derby City Racket Club, and uh, we're a, a group of ragtag pro tennis pros who are, uh, it's a little bit of a bad news bear story. Mm -hmm. we're, uh, we get challenged to this uh, big tennis match by the the well-heeled, well-dressed, uh, upper-class found club guys, and uh, we got to scrape together a team and try to take them on. Thank I can't you. tell you how it ends up, though. Because <laughs> maybe something happens to the dead arm, yeah, we don't know. My character talks like this in the entire movie. It's the, uh, it's the Indian, Indian tennis pro. I'm on the fountain club, which is the snooty, um, country club in our tennis movie. You're the bad guys. Uh, we're, we're, I guess we're the bad guys. We are the, we're the villains. And um, I'm just one of the pros that play on the fountain club. Well, originally we had, the, the goal was to make this sort of the Caddyshack of tennis. And I think now that uh, I recall some of the scenes in Caddyshack, I think we're getting towards that goal um, because, you know, that wasn't over the top, like say The Hangover. It wasn't an overtop comedy, but there's a lot of good, subtle, funny, poignant moments with you know interesting characters who are in their own right crazy and quirky. So I definitely think we're um, accomplishing you know the sort of original goal that we set up. I feel like films have a little bit of a karma. So if the filmmaking itself is fun, that kind of transcends the movie itself. Um, so I think it's going to be funny. I mean, we just watched something, you know, a Reservoir Dogs homage shot of the uh, Misfit team, kind of the slow-mo scene when they go to the, the, the throwdown. Uh, and it's funny. Everybody laughed.